Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I just got out of the shower. Did I sleep last night? No. Do I need some Red Bull? Yes. Stayed up all night watching YouTube videos on fishing. And if you guys have seen the newly built boat, this bad mamma jamma right here, I have been dying to take it out. Last night, I even rigged up all my rods. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like nine or 10 rods. That's probably wrong. I probably didn't count good. And the goal today is try to catch some catfish. So, time check of Braden's territory sleeping schedule 6 50 a.m. and my hair is like looking like a goofball it's still wet I don't know what's going on but I don't like it I almost forgot you guys that wouldn't have been good. I don't think you guys understand just how excited I am to actually get this boat out on the water. It hasn't been on the water in forever. The boat like hasn't been fished since last summer. I did start the motor, so I think we're good on that, but there might be some kinks we gotta work out. We got a lot to do today. We gotta catch catfish bait, because I got a buddy coming from Raleigh. We'll get into that later, probably while I'm fishing or something. I don't know. Uh, we gotta try to find catfish, see if this lake has any good catfish in it, and breakfast. We, we uh, yeah, that's it. Captain, we'll buff out those scratches. Boys, we got breakfast, we got Red Bull, we got gas, we got people saying, What's that? What assholes getting to go fishing on a Tuesday morning? So it's looking like a good day if you ask me. Let's see here, here's the lake. Why is the gate closed? Why? 8 a.m., April 7 a.m., but it's March. At least that clock's not right. 8 a.m., it is 7. It's gonna be a long day, boys. A long day. Was really hoping to watch the sunrise, eating my biscuit out on the water, but I guess this will have to do. Good morning. How you going, bud? Pretty good. Just wish I would have known they opened at 8 a.m. Not I think I thought they were seven. I was shaking the gas can, rookie mistake. I shook it everywhere on top of me. Two strokes. It is 8, 10. Boys, we have made it to the club. We have made it. There's the water, there's birds on it, there's birds on it. That's a good side right there, boys. Oh, I'm so excited. Finally getting back to fishing. Got the boat on the back and everything. Let's freaking go. Would you just look at that beast right there, ladies and gentlemen. This power pole over here doing wonders. First time using it. Let's see here, where's the little remote? Here's a little remote. Let's just go ahead, get everything settled into the boat. Uh, let me organize it real quick, and uh, we'll launch. Boom shakalaka. Oh no, 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 no. Let's hope that camera don't fall. That'd be expensive. Ah, sweet, we're off bottom. Get that fish finder going, boys. This is sick. I miss being on the water. Let's see how this boat performs. I'm really excited. Let her warm up first. Marking a couple fish down there. Get this trolling motor mounted up. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're out here on the freshly built boat. So excited about this thing. We're marking some bait fish under us already. Oh yeah, there we go. Didn't get out here as early as I wanted to, but today is gonna be a beautiful day. First thing we gotta do, we gotta go catch some bait, and then uh, we'll start looking and trying to find a spot to anchor up and cast out some catfish rods. If all else fails, bass fishing. I got all the tackles, so we're good. It's just dead, we're not seeing nothing right now. There's a little bit of bait right there. Not a whole lot of bait. There's a little bit of bait, it's just not, it's grouped up as much as I'd like. No point in throwing the cast net for 
two pieces of bait. We gotta find the big school. Let's find these gizzard shad, boys. There's a little bit down here. There we go, there's a little bit. All that right there, shad. We'll whip out the cast net, see if we can't catch them. Hopefully we'll catch some few, cause that's kind of what we're relying on for bait today, boys. Bring out the old casting net net. Get up some line. Got a little bit of kinks in it. I do throw a six foot net. I am about to order me an eight foot. Uh, one of those bait buster nets, really good nets. That's what dad uses in the river for those big old gizzard shad. But uh, I mean, this should do. Uh, I would like an eight foot net right now, especially cause the bait's so thin, but we'll see what we can get. Try to get back on this school of bait fish and try to keep y'all in the boat. <laughs> that school of bait fish was right about there, y'all. See if we can't find them on the fish finder again. It's got to stay on top of this bait. It's so small. I mean, it's going to be easy to lose. They're sitting in about eh, 15 to 20 feet of water. Where are y'all at? A little bit of a school right there. Not exactly what I'm after. Yeah, there's some bigger bait fish down there. Let's just give it a throw. Without not having side scan, I don't know which, which direction off the boat they are. That was kind of a sh throw. We'll go with it. Yeah, there's some bait fish down there for sure. Let this net sink all the way to the bottom. Oh, she's going deep, boys. There it is. See if we got anything. Nothing. Bait's just not thick in here today. There's a little bit of bait down there sitting at 22 feet. There we go. Let that net sink all the way to the bottom. Oh, come on, bait. There's some. Or one. Oh, we got some bait. There we go, boys. Second throw, five. Not too bad, not too bad. There's a little bait, but we need more. See if we can't get on this school again. There we go. That'll produce some fish right there. Are you serious? Ow, no. Get out of there, boy. A little crappie. Apparently the crappie are deep right now. Got into that school a little bit. Another little white crappie or something. A little baby crappie. Three more good gizzards. I think we'll throw on this group just a little bit more. We'll go look for a bigger group. Oh. Oh man. Let's see if I can't get locked on this big group. All right there. Right there. There's some, there's some catfish laying down there. On the fish finder, you could tell my net went right directly behind them. Yep, just like I thought. Gotta be quicker than that, boys. Got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Get back on them. Try again. I think I went right behind them again, son of a gun. One little baby. I think that's crappie right there, suspended. There's some more. Seven feet. It's pretty shallow. Boat's doing great so far, I love it. I can't wait to go try to do some bass fishing and test out this power pole. Hydro turf, so nice. There's that big school, holy cow, it's a good school. Can y'all see that? Holy cow. All right, yeah, we're turning around right now. Should be right about there. Here's the big school, found them. <laughs> 23 foot of water, let this net sink all the way. Should have some, come on now. Oh, yes sir. We found a big school, baby, it paid off. Let's get back on that school before we lose them. There's some, they're, I'm marking some big fish down there. Oh yeah, I got some. I can see it on the depth finder that, that I got some. <laughs> oh, I wish I could screenshot that. Look at my neck going down. Can y'all see that? I got, I should have a few. One. I got one. There's like seven under, there's a whole school under my net on the graph. Gotta find the school again. I need a bigger net. Where did y'all go? Come to daddy. Here they set them. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Oh, are you serious? This graph keeps lying to me, y'all. Bunch of bait right here. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Uh, barely behind them. Oh yeah, that's what we're after. Add some more to the pile. There's some good structure down there where those bait fish were at. Big catfish down there, right on the bottom. Feeding on the bait fish above them. See if these fish went back to the same spot. I'm gonna turn you guys off and catch some more bait. 
Come on, power pole, look at that. See if it'll reach. Boom, look at that, and we're solid. Set in one spot. That simple. Double click a button, power pole goes down. Micro power pole, love it so far. Goes down, sticks in the dirt. As you can see, we're not moving. That's freaking awesome, I love it. Bait duty today, boys. Might go try to catch a couple blues. Who knows? Yes sir, yes sir. Fill the cooler up. Come on now. Now a good way to really freeze bait, mix salt and some water in with your ice, freezes, freezes the shad instantly. It's like the rock salt or whatever. Works great. Did not go get any, so yeah, fun. We managed to pick up a few shad. This would be great for bait. I actually won't use this many shad today. Like I said, I got a buddy coming from uh, about three, three and a half hours away. Little fishing YouTube channel. He's got like 2,000 subscribers. But you know, I came across one of his boat builds because you know I was building my boat. This thing's working awesome, by the way. This power pole. You just double tap a button, you're stuck in one place. You just got to find water that's like six foot deep. In this lake, it is hard to do that. So just came over here to the side and one of these little inlets, five foot of water. Threw the power pole down and. Uh, put up the bait. This thing's working great. I haven't moved yet. Even when I bounce the boat, watch how it, 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 it goes up and down accordingly. Is it really not going to do it now? Are you serious? Uh oh, Houston, we have a problem. Here we are. This little remote, look up, double click up. It comes all the way up. I don't want it to come go all the way up. So we're going to put it back down. Goes all the way down, locks the boat into place, gives it good three jorts. You know, gets her down in there solid. Look at that. Look at it, it's still going. Solidly stuck in place with the click of a button. Could not get better. I'm not sponsored by them. I should have emailed them. I should have tried to get that sponsorship, but I was so excited when I found them. I was like, yo, I have to get one. So far, I, I'm not saying go buy one, but just keep watching the videos. See me use it. Let's see if it lasts. Let's see if I break it. If it holds up, I might get another. <laughs> I kind of got off topic there, but the reason I'm getting more bait than I'm going to use today is because I'm going to freeze some of it. That way we don't have to catch bait every day we go catfishing this week because we're going to be catfishing like five days straight starting tomorrow. Well, six days if you count the days, but I'm going to have a passenger in the boat, which will be fun. So what I think I'm going to do right now, this might sound boring to a lot of y'all, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the entire lake. Mark stuff on the fish finder. This lake is like hunting in a desert. Everything's the same. It's so hard to find fish. It's just all deep water, all basic flat bottoms. It's just, it's not the best to find fish. So I'm going to take my time, work around the entire lake. This lake's not too big. It's a big ass, it's just a big reservoir. I'm going to go around the whole place, mark stuff that I want to just throw a rod out, see if there's any catfish in that area. Then just come back, fish it all, see how the boat fishes. Look at all the bait fish down there. It's a pretty good sign. I might throw on those real quick. My GoPro, unfortunately, the memory card is effed in it. And I don't feel like running all the way home to get another memory card. I might be able to have somebody bring one out to me. We'll see. We might be out of GoPro footage for the rest of the day. That will be stupid because I brought so many batteries for the GoPro and only one for this camera. Crap. As of right now, I'm not going to film a lot because it's all on this camera. I only have one battery. Um, what I'm doing, I'm running the banks up, down, back, forth, marking fish. There's there's a little something under there. I'm just running like four miles an hour. Obviously, right now, I'm not. If there looks like there's good structure or some big fish on the graph, I'll just hit this mark button and we're set, good to go. I have found about four places that I want to try fishing. I'm going to go around the whole this side of the lake, mark everywhere I want to fish, run to it, fish each spot for 15 minutes, and then run to the other side of the lake and then mark all that and fish it so we got a long day let's 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 get it done i'm retarded so the plan right now is sorry for the the hair i've been running all over this lake the plan for right now is i think i'm just gonna drift fish a little bit drift to each spot especially along this bank i marked a lot of good fish just drift them under the boat we're sitting in 15 foot of water i'd like it to be a little bit deeper for drifting but i mean it'll work just kind of control my speed with the trolling motor just hit it every now and then kind of going with the wind a little too fast we're moving at a little over half a mile i'd rather stay on these fish a little bit longer and work a little slower but uh we'll see how it goes One thing, one thing about uh, shad in the summertime, whenever you cut into them, they kind of they feed on this moss, they feed on algae, right? So they're real just mushy and gross. But in the wintertime, they bleed. So it's best to get all your bait in the wintertime and uh, vacuum seal it and store it. Man, why'd you have to get my cooler all gross? We're just gonna pick them up off the bottom a couple feet. Let them sit down there. We'll get six or so rods out. We'll give this a shot. I've, I, I've never really trolled for catfish. Usually we just anchor up on them, but we'll see how this blows. I am using the micro anchor to help slow 
the breeze pushing me so I have it down in the water it kind of acts like a, a drifting sock and it slows the boat down so that that's great oh oh look who's coming in clutch old dad what you got for me camel cords got me two I don't know which kind you want micro the minis appreciate it you want to go for a boat ride not really with it raining I gotta go grab my jacket out of it hit the old up button she's on anchor Get off the bank, down goes the anchor. Drop the motor. Up goes the anchor. Reverse. I just don't think there's any catfish in this lake. I mean, there's catfish. I just don't think there's any big catfish in this lake. I think I'm wasting my time right here, boys. We're gonna take a little hike up river, boys. Up the lake, here we go. My motor literally just about cut off. That's strange. hell did that happen wow okay oh my god i can't cast a bait caster to save my life oh oh my gosh he followed it to the boat oh my i got that on video that was a two and a half three pounder right holy cow that was epic he lit oh my goodness he was ready to smash it. That's the first good fish I've seen all day. <laughs> all I've caught today's bait. That was epic. Well boys, it's been a minute since I've done an update. I'm currently up the creek right now. No clue how I got back here, but amazingly it was pretty, it had a pretty good channel running all the way through it. Found a new bridge, that's cool. And you know, I haven't caught a bass, I haven't caught a catfish, I caught some bait, that's good, but you know, I was fishing. I've only, I only set up for catfish once though. There's just, there's no spots that just like, that intrigue me, you know. I, I, I drifted a little bit through some of the spots that I did like, nothing. You know, I think I'm gonna go back out and try catching some uh, catfish. I'm gonna go give it a shot. I ain't gonna give up on this lake just yet, even though I'm probably gonna. Getting a bite, boys. Got gotcha your ass. What we got? What we got? First fish. Oh my gosh, that took forever. That is the ugliest catfish, bro. What in the hell? What is that, a bullhead or something? The ugliest catfish. Well, guys, there we go. An ugly little catfish. Let's let him go. You little cracker. I have about, God, I have about had it with this lake, you know. I fished it multiple times. There's not big catfish in here. You know, people might say, oh, there's big catfish in there. You know what, I think there's one on this one. Oh boys, we got another. What could this be? Oh, another stupid, dumb, tiny catfish. Oh, you... that's cool. I didn't, want, I didn't even want to hold you anyway. Made my job easier. That's fine. I feel like this is all that's gonna be happening. Catching stupid, small catfish the entire trip oh gosh hello Bubba yeah I got another probably the same ugly oh <laughs> come on you can pull better than that boy well he, this one's fighting a little bit this might be a better fish he's right here under the boat oh he ain't better he's just more feisty let me see if I can just make him fall off dude this fish is a chunk I don't know if it's a bull or what I think I guess it's a bull Ow! 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 This one's my f***ing biter, bro. Oh, well, boys, I learned my lesson with him. What do you guys think this is, a little bullhead? That's what Lippin' Their Bass TV says. I don't, I've never really caught bullheads or nothing before, but, uh, yeah, apparently the state record's like five pounds or something. He's a good three. Bye-bye. I'm running out of energy. I'm tired of getting bit by fish, especially this ugly. Like, honestly, just if they could just go extinct, it wouldn't bother me. Lip in their bass TV, we are. We're planning out the whole fishing trip. I'm telling them right now that we're not coming catfishing here, but we do need to come bass fishing here. Let's just keep fishing, I guess. There's a fish on here. I never even noticed. Too busy talking. Don't be gut hooked. Bye bye. Huge catfish breaks my reel. 
totally not clickbait. Oh, just refreshing up on all the baits. These baits are kind of getting ranky. Oh, I think I got robbed on this one. Put some fresh baits on there. I'm sure we're about to catch a few. I don't know why I want to, but I'm sure we are. All right, boys, we're at, oh, there's two. We got a double. We got a double. We got a double, new spot, new location. All right, he's gonna go in the rod holder. Hope he doesn't come off. What in the tar nation? He's all wrapped up. This one felt bigger. Skate on in here, boy. Why are they, these bull heads wrap themselves in the line? I don't get it. Look at him. Will someone please tell me why these bull heads wrap themselves in the line? We got a double and both of them are trying to die of strangulation. What in tarnation? You didn't even get hooked in the mouth. You literally, you literally just got tangled up in the line. There's a catfish on here and he's hooked up. There he is, he got free. Okay, what just happened? I don't even wanna talk about it. I don't know what just happened. My anchor came free because of that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today did not go as planned, did not go as expected. Today, the boat did so good. The hydro turf quiets everything. It, it runs good, top speeds at like 25, which isn't the best. Redoing all the wiring, this new switch panel, so nice. I can literally charge my phone. It's so great. Definitely, definitely. Can't wait to get out here tomorrow. I'm tired, y'all. It's 5.30 p.m. I didn't go to sleep last night because I wanted to come fishing. Bad choice on my part. I shoulda, I shoulda just fished for bass all day, but I know this lake like the back of my hand now, though. I have mapped out everything. There's a bite right there. Come here, boy. Oh, oh. This one feels a little bit better. Yeah, he looks a lot better. Still no match for the fishing machine. Oh, is that a channel? Maybe? Oh, darn it. Get out of my boat, dude. Stupid. Oh. Okay. This one's got a little grunt. Don't go into my anchor line, dude. I will literally hit you in the head with a hammer. Let's see you. What are you? Look at all the dirt on them. Don't go to spinning. Don't. Stop. Look at all the dirt on them. Just buried in the mud. Oh, well, I could just stay out here and catch those things all day. Oh, okay. This one's kind of heavy. Please don't be another bull come to the top oh oh okay oh what was that was that a channel i was about to say if i catch another blue bull i'm leaving what is that state record bull head right there boys i'm i'm leaving i'm actually leaving this is a joke don't no stay off do not bite that hook oh my gosh oh he came off I'm reeling in all my rods. I don't want to catch another one. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I honestly think this video came out crap, um, considering we didn't catch nothing worth talking about. Now I get to clean up my boat. What a disgrace. I should have bass fished today. Y'all do me a favor. Please like and subscribe. Better fishing videos to come, for sure. No doubt about that. <sighs> Power pole up. Thank you. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of the Braden Prize. Yo, who is this clown, Miller? I don't Why is know. Why is he turning into the Wait, driveway? who is this clown turning into my driveway, Miller? Uh, who is that? Uh, I've never seen that car before. I don't think nobody's ever seen that car before. Yo, who's that? Lippin' Bass. Lippin' Bass? Lippin' Bass who? Is that Harry Peter? What is going on, man? What's up, man? How, How are you, you doing? Good. What's, What's up, buddy? How's it going? Brad. Brian? Brad. Nice to meet you.